Well, just carry on what we've been doing and improving on. I thought we had a good day coming out of the game um, Monday and then traveled up here, I thought, in a professional business-like manner. And hopefully we can you know, continue to work on all the stuff that, that came up in the game and uh, that we can keep you know, taking care of the football, which we have to do better, and seeing how we block different players and, and seeing how we you know, cover different players and making sure that you know, we're, we're practicing to, to our standards and our tempo. I mean, I think we've been getting a lot of really good work in against ourselves, and I think that that's probably, a, you know, this is a good time to, to end that and, and start this process here the next two weeks. And, you know, again, we've talked about the different skill sets of players in this league, different schemes that we'll have to face throughout the season. And now instead of having, you know, ourselves the game plan against or understand and maybe having a little bit more time, now we just have two practices and then a game. So th this is going to be some hands-on experience, I think, just learning, you know, different guys' route crafts, releases, uh, different players at the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, so that can help us and just say, okay, let's make some corrections or what do, you, what do we need to adjust on going into tomorrow and then the game? Well, I mean, I think you want to have some exposure, but maybe not a whole lot other than just some some personnel or some looks, you know, whether that's different fronts that, that we may see. Um, you know, we'd like to have the players as prepared as possible, but also understanding that, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of time after Chicago, but we tried to give them a little bit. And then you know, what has to happen is they have to go out there and use their rules and communicate. And, you know, we've talked about how critical the 11 guys on the field are, you know, communicating and making sure that they're on the same page. Well, I'm sure that they did. I mean, you know, we've got you know, a game tape from, you know, didn't play last week. And I mean, again, they're, they're, they're pros. They'll, they'll, they'll come out here and practice and, and hopefully, you know, compete and, and challenge and, and go from there. Well, you're going to see a lot of the move the ball and having some unscripted periods that, you know, allow Tim and Shane and, you know, who's calling it on their side to, to be able to adjust to, to what they're seeing and going from first to second and second to third. And, um, you know, then just work the end of the game operation uh, today and we'll do that. And then tomorrow work in the red zone. So those are you know, normally what we've done you know, throughout these processes. Well, I think it matters every day, whether we're in Minnesota, whether we're in Tennessee, uh, whether we're in Illinois, you know, every day is, is part of the process and see what they, you know, can improve on and where they make adjustments and, you know, how they handle certain situations. All I heard was Kevin O'Connell and my impression, so... You got a big fan right there, just maybe a little louder. I'm not sure what you asked me. I apologize. What impression you made as a rookie back in 08, like rewinding back then to the locker room, and then how he's done so far. Well, I mean, how he's done so far, I met a lot of success here last year. So um, the, the impression, you know, I think just, you know, it's like him and Cliff came in. I, you know, at some point in time, I couldn't tell those apart. It was like he came in and replaced Cliff Kingsbury, and you know, um, conscientious, obviously, smart, smart player. You know, picked everything up really well, and um, you know, just happy for for his success and the teammates that that I've had that have gone on to success in coaching or broadcasting or anything off the field that they're doing. And Kevin's another example of that.
Well, I can promise you that having not watched practice and having no idea that there's going to be some things that are good, there's going to be some, some things that are bad, and there's going to be some things that will get us beat that we'll have to eliminate. Every day we go out there and practice, there's, there's those things. And uh, I'll, I'll do it the same way I always do it. You know, we'll have a meeting. We'll, we'll, we'll try to continue to, to, to stockpile all the good things. We'll have to fix the bad things and then eliminate the, the things that get us beat. And, um, you know, we'll look at the effort. We'll, we'll, we'll ask players to, you know, show us their effort and ones that they thought were up to our standard and, and the ones that, that aren't up to our standard. Um, I, you know, I'm sure that if we think it'll give us the best chance to, to convert uh, in short yardage situations, then, then we'll entertain the idea. Um, as far as stopping it, you know, I mean, I'm sure we'll have other ideas. You know, these are things that are hard to practice, uh, you know, just in training camp, just, you know, you're talking about goal line and, and short yardage and, you know, making sure that we're doing everything to, you know, protect the players and stay up. But, you know, it's an effective play. It's a creative play, and you know, one that you know, the, the injuries would tell you that there weren't injuries that were occurring on the play. So, you know, everybody has a choice. You know, everybody pays their quarterback a certain amount of money, and you can decide to run quarterback sneaks or not. Um, uh, again, we'll we'll see what gives us the best chance to convert. Um, we've handed it off to Derek. We've thrown it, and we've quarterback sneaked it. So. We've been okay on third and one. Um, would, would like to always be better. Taking the day off, Gentry? Sure, let's go, Gentry. <laughs> well, I don't want to say that I, I can't remember, Gentry, what, what those reasons were in Tampa. I really can't. Um, but we, we've, we've tried to, you know, again, you know, be intentional with way, how we've, we've structured practice and, you know, getting some guys out there for half a practice and something that we've done in the past with veteran players and, you know, whether they need individual periods and things like that or, Maybe the most important thing is some team periods, you know, so we kind of structure the practice accordingly. So sometimes maybe guys can come out at different places, but, you know, everybody has a plan each and every day. I, I don't know what, uh, what it was like two years ago, but, you know, hopefully we'll have guys that are they're available and that may change from today and going in tomorrow. We'll, we'll see what that looks like after, after we practice today. No, this is going to be it. This is gonna, I'm, I'm going to be the guy. Yeah, it was blowing, but, I mean, you got to play in the elements, whatever it is. You know, played in some win games over the years, so it's definitely not ideal uh, to throw the football, but you got to handle the elements. Both teams are dealing with it, and it's whoever can, can play the game the best is dealing with the elements. How did you feel like you guys did from beginning to end tonight? You know, we picked it up there at the end. Uh, I didn't feel like we came out with the right intensity uh, early on. Um, you know, they're giving us a bunch of different looks that we haven't seen. Uh, going against our team and didn't really, um, you know, scout. It's like you're not, you're not preparing for a game coming out here like you, you do in the regular season. So, um, you know, a bunch of different looks that, that we haven't seen before, but it's great work because uh, we're, we're seeing different looks that we see against our own team on a daily basis, and uh, we're going to play teams that, that do this type of stuff. So um, it's good work for us, and, and we'll learn from it. What do you say to Troy Lynn and how tough is that to have that happen in a flag? Yeah, just went over checked on him. Uh, you hate seeing that. Um, yeah, we'll find out more information uh, and see, see what's really going on, but um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be all right. I think uh, he seemed uh, obviously upset and, and understandably so. Uh, just thoughts and prayers are with him right now, and, and hopefully you know, it's not too bad. What did you think of the one-on-one -on -one period, Ryan? It seemed like some, some things were off during that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're dealing with a 30-mile-hour win, so you know, it's 
Uh, in, in one-on-one coverage, typically it's going to be tight coverage, and, and you got to put the ball in a, in a tight window. Um, you know, they did a good job covering us, and uh, you know, we got to try to be better with the ball. Obviously, just dealing with the elements, uh, trying to play the win, and, uh, and put it in a good spot. You know, we were able to hit some some plays. Um, weren't consistent enough. Felt like we had had some drops, had some missed throws, and then hit some plays. So um, overall, up and down, but uh, good work. A lot of the starters, like you guys will get to play in the preseason, but these joint practices tend to be like a good opportunity for you to, to gear up and get ready. For you, like, how do you approach that? Do you look at that same way? Uh, it's, it's an opportunity to come out and get better. You know, we're look, looking at a different defense, different scheme than we see from our our team. Um, you know, as you go throughout the season, you see a bunch of different schemes, a bunch of different. Uh, styles of play from defenses. So to be able to to switch things up, uh, see a different style of play, see a different defense is good work for us. Um, you know, lots to learn from it and, and you know, build on as we move forward. When oh, you nice. guys come together like this against another team, how important is it for you, or is it important, like to set a standard? Like this is the way we play. We want to show you how our standard is. Well, we want to we want to play the way we play, no matter where we're at, who we're playing against. We know whether it's in Nashville playing against our own defense or, or coming out here. Um, you know, that's, that's one thing we said to the guys is we got to you know, play our style of the ball and practice the way we practice. Uh, and I didn't feel like we did that early on. You know, we kind of didn't start off the way we wanted to and, and didn't turn it around quick enough. You know, we were able to do some good things in that two minute period at the end. But uh, if you don't consistently make plays throughout the game, you're not going to be in a position to, to you know, go win the game at the end. So um, opportunity for us to come out tomorrow and and build on it. Sorry, how nice in that two minute to get the ball back so quickly? A couple <laughs> yeah, defense did a great job, obviously. Um, you know, I think, I think it was the first play or second play. Second play both times. Um, so, you know, great job by our defense. You know, they've been uh, making it tough for us all camp. So uh, good to see them, you know, playing consistent and, and making plays against somebody else. Brian, probably just, you've been asked about this. Is, is beef, uh, Brian Flores' defense unique in, in the way they disguise things? Uh, I want to say it's unique unique but it's definitely uh, a style that you don't see a whole lot you know there's a couple teams you know throughout the league a couple coordinators who will uh, will play this style of ball uh, it's definitely something you don't see on a weekly basis and um, that's what's nice when you when you're game planning you have a little more uh, a little more time and uh, and space to to game plan and, and get ready for it but uh, like I said good looks for us we'll be able to take a look at this tape uh, learn from it and come out ready to go tomorrow Yeah, like I said, you know, I felt like we didn't we didn't come out and uh, start the way we wanted to start, and um, guys were battling, but it just wasn't consistent enough. Not just the offensive line, but just overall. So, um, you know, got to be able to uh, to come out and, and be better. You know, I think these are great opportunities. You know, I've been been a part of a lot of these over the years, and um, you want to take advantage of these, but not read it too much into them. Uh, you know, I think back to uh, 2015. I was with Miami. We went to Carolina. Uh, practice to them uh, two days felt like you know we had really good practices kind of dominated those practices and uh, we fired a coach after week four and, and they went 15 and one into the Super Bowl so you know take it for what it is it's an opportunity to come out here work uh, see a different scheme see different players different with different skill sets than we're seeing every day uh, but just keep our head down keep grinding uh, learn from from what we did and uh, you know keep the foot on the gas keep going do what yeah, yeah. It, just, it didn't really matter which way, you know. It's just tough to tough to play this. It's a three club win today, at least, you know. So uh, try to gauge it as best you can, but um, you know, it's the elements you got to deal with it. Thanks, All right, thanks, guys. I mean, just from the eye test, I thought it was really, really good. Um, we didn't allow any big plays down the field on defense. Um, you know, they made some plays, but at the end of the day, uh, I felt like we competed our behinds off. You know, you don't really know sometimes off the eye test as far as like the defense alignment, but we were stuffing the runs. Um, seems like we got a couple sacks, and obviously two minutes, we ended with two picks. So uh, I thought it was a great day overall for the defense, but, you know, we're going to watch the film and find some things to correct. Changing the scenery and, and the opponent, how important was it for you to maintain that level of excellence? Yeah, it's important because, you know, when we're on the road, obviously practice is a different team. The routine is different. We're at a different facility, different locker room. Uh, you know, you're sleeping in the hotel. So I think it's definitely big to come out here and start fast, bring our own energy, and I feel like we was able to do that today.
Oh, 100%. Uh, those guys are professionals. They have really good players on their side of the ball as well. So we expect tomorrow for them to come out, you know, with a little bit more uh, energy and juice. Not saying that they were dead or anything like that. But, um, but like I said, I mean, that's the challenge for us as a defense to continue to be consistent and, and try to be dominant every single day we're out here. Is it McClendon that got the tip on, on uh, Weaver's pick? I'm not sure exactly who got it, but obviously we uh, came down with. I think Weaver has two picks to train. He has more picks than me this training camp. So uh, I'm impressed with his ball skills. You know, it was really cool because I think the, the best thing about it was because I was kind of in the robber situation right there. And uh, obviously, Raj knew he had his help inside, so he was able to play the outside route and caught a pick. Uh, he's had two interceptions during a two-minute drill, pretty much the exact same play, uh, exact same route that he had against Kyle Phillips uh, in the rain the other day at practice. So uh, really proud of Raj and the way he's improved this offseason. Uh, I mean, I don't know just right off the top of the head, but uh, like you said, it's been really, really good this training camp. And like you said, to be able to go against a different team other than our offense, kind of a team that we kind of, you know, know what they're going to do and things like that. So to not really game plan against the Vikings and to still have a really good showing, uh, it's a really good step in the, uh, in the right direction. Yeah, something I've just talked about all training camp, the importance of you know, obviously our defensive line, who's already, you know, already really dominated. We have those guys up front. Our linebackers has really made plays. Uh, and, you know, obviously on the back end, you know, something we really take pride in is the defense being aggressive and competitive. And so, like I said, just putting all three and marrying all three together uh, is going to be big for us, obviously, uh, going into the season. Yeah, it's, it's very concerning. Obviously, we don't, you know, know the severity or nothing's confirmed yet. But uh, obviously, I heard about it when we kind of went to special teams and obviously praying for him, hoping that, you know, hoping that everything is going well. But he's a big part of what we do as an offense and as a team. So uh, obviously, you want everything to be OK. Did Rape say anything to the team afterwards about the injury or just kind of keep your heads up anything? No, nah, I mean, obviously, you know, Braves don't speak too much about injuries. And uh, I didn't even really ask him about it at all. I kind of just heard whispers from some guys uh, that he had went down. So. Hopefully we'll go to the locker room and you know back to the hotel. Hopefully hear some good news. Yeah, this facility is, is incredible. Obviously, they have a really good practice facility. Um, the weather's been really good. Obviously, it's very windy, but I mean to have a training camp like this, I think it's probably low 80s or something like that. It's it's got to be great to be out here in the summertime. Yeah, I mean, I, I think sometimes it depends on where it happens at. Obviously, you know, special teams, uh, those are really, really competitive periods because these are guys that's trying to make the team, uh, trying to make a name for themselves. So, you know, those things are going to happen. But um, like you say, you don't want guys to really lose their head and to, you know, you just don't want to do nothing crazy to hurt the team. But honestly, personally, as far as the defense alignment, those big guys, like I'd rather be pulling them off of guys than trying to tell them to go talk some trash. So uh, you kind of want that uh, that confidence, that swag from, the, from from those guys up front. Craig says the hardest skill in the league is covering a kick, running down and covering a kick. What did you think about that? The hardest skill? I mean, I would think it's probably covering a receiver or something like that. But no, I mean, it's definitely a skill for sure. And uh, I think we have some pretty good guys going to be able to do that this year. And uh, looking forward to, you know, continuing to preseason and see those guys covering those Did kicks. Do it early? Oh, 100%. You know, my rookie year, I, I think I played the most special team snaps on the whole entire team 2016. Uh, I think I had like 10 special team tackles, not to brag, but uh, but nah, special teams is very important. That's what we try to tell some of the younger guys. Like, you know, don't matter, you know, when you got drafted, where you came from, uh, you do what you have to do to try to help the team. That's something I've always been willing to do. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you would hope that that'll lead to some some overthrown balls, some tip passes, and things like that. Uh, so, like I said, we've got an interception off a tip. So, uh, I mean, it was pretty good, but I'm pretty sure the kickers don't like it that much. Kevin, what's the benefit of the secondary going up against Justin Jefferson? Kind of iron sharpens iron that way. Yeah, he's one of the best, if not the best, receiver in the league. So, uh, anytime you know Christian Fulton and, and Sean Murphy. Uh, Sean Murphy Button and, and Roger and all these guys to go up against a, a competitor like him, it gives you confidence because you feel like, if, hey, if I can cover this guy, if I made a good play on him, I can do it against anybody. So it's important, it's very key to be able to go up against you know top-notch uh, talent like that. Yeah, 100%. You know, that's the thing about these uh, 
competitive uh, training camp practice against other teams, like you bring a little bit more juice because, like you said, you're not. It's not about you know you're not trying to protect your own teammate, but you're going against somebody else and just the intensity ramps up. So it was really good today to get some work, and uh, I expect the intensity to ramp up a little bit more tomorrow because usually on that second day, guys are a little bit tired. It may, somebody may have done some cheat the day before, so you want to get them back today. So uh, should see some fireworks tomorrow.